Last week, you have learned a few statistical analysis to compare the differences between samples. So this week, you, we're going to learn another analysis for us to investigate the relationship between two variables. So after these lectures, you will be able to understand the concept and application of correlation tests and perform parametric tests for the correlations. So there are a few topics. So the first one is about the test of relationship. So correlation is just one of the analysis that we use to investigate the relationship. And after that, we're going to discuss about correlations. We're going to discuss how the correlation indicates the relationship between two variables based on the covariance. Then the next, we're going to learn how to calculate the correlation coefficients and also to perform the correlation analysis. So for test for relationship, is when we want to find the association or relationship between continuous variables, two or more variables collected from the same set of experiment unit or observation unit. So for example, you have a three student, and then for each student, you measure at least two variables. So in this case, maybe one is the body height. Another one is the body weight. So for each SL unit, we measure two or more variables. For test of relationship, we can use correlation or regressions. And it depends on the characteristic of our variables and also our research questions. So both analysis examine the strength and significance of the relationship. So first is the strength and the significance of the relationship. But only regression tests test the functional nature of the relationship. So they will give you the model, okay? They will construct a formula, okay? Which, as long as one of the variable is provided, you can actually predict the another variable. So they provide you a predictive model. So there's a main difference between correlation and regression. For correlation, there will be no distinction between dependent and independent variable. So for example, body height and body weight. So in this case, both of them are independent variable. Okay. And there's no causality interpretation. So it's not S cause the Y. Okay. And neither the variable directly cause the change of each other. But it's possible that both variables are influenced by the other variables. For example, the body height and body weight. Maybe it's both of the variables is influenced by the edge, for example. Okay. So for regression, is the investigation of the relationship between predictor variable and dependent variable. So you have the S and Y variable. Okay. So it's di different from the correlation, which both variables are independent. And the magnitude and the changes in dependent variable is directly influenced by the predicted variable. So that's the reason why for this test, usually they will construct a model. Okay. For example, in this case, the Y is the dependent variable and the S is the predicted variable. So there's a brief introduction about the test relationship. And for the regression, we're going to discuss in the next few weeks.